Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Just Black. I'm here, baby. Like and subscribe. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whenever you watch this, man, I don't discriminate. Some people work overnight, and some people just sleep through the day. But good morning, man. We back. Let's talk about the baby. Real nigga shit right there. You ain't homeless, nigga. I'm homeless, nigga. Instagram, nigga. Nigga, follow me on Instagram. You don't follow me on Instagram, nigga. There you go, nigga. Come on, man. Please, bro. Hey, hey, wait. Keep going down, baby. Keep that energy. Yes, sir. That's real nigga shit right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Count me out. Yes, sir. This is the reason this is Come on, say but a lot of people do a lot of people do his last album was like 180,000 uh first week equivalent sales including streams and hard copies so people listen to the baby people are fans of the baby the baby Everybody know who the baby is. The baby been going through. Ever since he come out, he he's he's thrived and like the catalyst to his success in his career has been controversy and mayhem. He killed somebody in the Walmart that blew him up. You know, he beat up a guy in the mall. Like, no, all these things. That's what the baby does. Shot somebody on his property. That's what he does, man. Yo, this video is brought to you but, by OGC anyway, Moss and OGCMoss.co. My bottle is in use by halfway done. No cap. We really use it. It's, it's slated to do like 18,000. We're going to use 18,000 for. Hey, who the fuck would have brought me, man? Drop off from 180,000, which would and, and which cause uh rappers and people who know to speak out and say, Oh, they trying to blackball the baby, which is obvious, right? It is obvious that they trying to blackball the baby. At least, at least they um, at least they like putting the chokehold or like lowering some kind of algorithm so the streams don't do as well. And there was a story that leaked uh, a few a few months ago about him uh, about one of his cousins not selling tickets, so they got to cancel it. Which actually, if you read the story, that's actually not what happened. Uh, it, it was it was a, it was a, it was a contract. It was a breach of contract, and that's why the concert didn't happen. But they put the story out that he was um, that people weren't coming to his shows, which is not false. Which is false by all accounts. The baby is still one of the, the highest the highest touring rap acts right now to this day. He does festivals. It, his fan base is mostly like college students, white college students. And he still has that same fan base, but the internet can could put out a narrative that becomes true. That's what the internet does. The internet puts out narratives that are now true, and so people are saying, "Oh, the baby's falling off," and then and then so now people are putting out like think pieces of why why he's falling off from and why he's not being blackballed. Oh, his music hasn't evolved or it's repetitive. Or it's not good. His music's always been repetitive. Still sold. People still want to listen to it. So is so is Meg Thee Stallion's music. So is so is the, um, Migos music. So is Lil Durk's music. A lot of people's music is repetitive and stupid and, and, and w without bass or substance. A lot of it. It's only a few people whose music is repetitive, and those and a lot of those people, somebody writes it. And so of course you're gonna have substance because you have two or three people writing it who their whole job is to write music with substance. But for the most part, that's what the baby is repetitive. That's his that's his stick. Meg Thee Stallion is repetitive. That's their stick. So that's not a reason. He's he's fighting the black ball. Very rarely do you beat the black ball, especially now where major labels and major entities and businesses and and people who really make things work control behind the scenes streaming platforms and all 
and 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 how your music is, is being seen and these and these media companies can plant these stories so people will be like well i guess he's just repetitive so we don't like him no more that's how easy it is for the time to change that's the way that's the way this thing goes the the, the, the reality is they, they 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 tried to blackball tory a couple years ago he was able to weather the storm now granted tory is a lot more talented than the baby i'll be completely honest he's a lot more talented a lot more layers to his music um, he, he's, he's able to like adapt uh, adapt and mimic whatever's hot or do his own thing and do his own signature Tory thing. He's a talented guy. And, and when this all was happening, he went to NFT and sold a million dollars in a day and then, they, and then he showed himself and showed the world that if you have direct the consumer marketing and business acumen, then can't nobody blackball you. Is the baby that smart or that uh, intuitive? Or? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. But for the most part, man, he's definitely being blackballed. And, and, and not and not to mention, and, and, a, and a lot of people don't really know, or a lot of people don't really care how things like really work. So you're able to like feed a story or narrative, so people can be like, oh yeah, he ain't so. The truth is, the way the way they calculate streams and uh, equivalent albums has changed. So a lot of people is coming out, and they and they and their number and their numbers are different in. Say, when's the last time, the first time, um, when the Coil of Ray dropped the first time? Right before she dropped that time, the way they calculated equivalent streams for the first week had changed. So it came out that she sold like 18,000, same as the baby. But in reality, she was like gold already, the way they, the way they calculate streams after the first week. But nobody cares about, you know, the lie. Or the truth when the lies more more entertaining like they say or just nobody really cares about the truth at all anyway because people like to people like to see you fall when you're that big you that you that cocky and that arrogant and your whole bravado is being arrogant that that kind of stuff is fun until until but it's fun because people are anticipating the fall and so when you don't fall they they hate you they grow to hate you or and when you do fall they celebrate they cheer they say see i told you he was cocky this whole time we need that's how that's how it should have been right baby but that's the way the game go man but um whenever y'all done doing whatever it is that you're doing i'll be in the bathroom boom -boom. Yeah.